My charity work is, is the most important thing apart from my family in, in, in my life. Uh, my eldest son died of motor neurone disease and I became a, a patron of the Sheffield Institute Foundation for Translational Neuroscience to try and raise £20 billion to, to build the world's first dedicated research centre into motor neurone disease. And we did that in two and a half years together with uh, some other great patrons. I'm dyslexic, it takes me three times as long to write a letter as most people does. Having to stop and start getting up to go to the toilet, it does make you despair. Uh, you're having disrupted sleep, you're disrupting your wife's sleep. I was really ghost on the morning, not, not much energy. It took me ages to get going where I've always been up a, a get up and go for person straight away on the morning. I started having prostate problems about 10 years ago. I noticed that I, once I started going to the toilet, I had to go non-stop. First thing you, you used to do is when you went into a restaurant or a bar is look where the toilets were and stand near the toilets because you could never never uh, estimate when, when you was getting the urge to go. My perception was that eventually you die of, of, of prostate problems. I was actually surprised how many people come to say, had said to me, well, yes, well, I have that problem. And, and generally speaking, they had that perception as well. Thankfully, it wasn't uh, cancerous and they, they put me on some tablets. Within the last year, 18 months, I've, I've noticed that I've been going a lot more frequently during the night, as much as seven, eight, nine times a night. I saw an article in the Yorkshire Indian Post uh, about the Eurolift. This article looked very, very promising. I waited about three months before I got an appointment. They informed me that yes, it looks as if I would qualify to have this. Two weeks later, to my surprise, I was in there to have more tests, and then I saw Dr. Oliver Case, and he, he said that he could do it within the next fortnight, which I was highly delighted about, that he could do it so quickly. Uh, it really put a smile on my face. Our ambition nationally with the One Stop Clinic and here in Leeds is to provide a service for men where they can come to a clinic to be seen by a specialist with an interest in enlarged prostate problems, gain a diagnosis, assessment and investigations all in the same day so that at the end of the session they can have appropriate counselling from their consultant or a specialist nurse regarding their treatment options and also what their recovery and post-operative care is going to entail. Often that may involve a catheter, but as with Eurolift, we know that we don't have to use catheters in the main, which helps us with our counselling service. To be diagnosed and then booked in for an operation all in one day is absolutely it's saving. It's saving me time, it's saving my, my anxiety, and it's also saving the national health money because they're having it done very, very quickly. They're not, you're not having to come back, make appointments, book appointments, send letters out, phone calls. Absolutely wonderful. Efficiency, that's what we need. An efficiency of the process, the ability to see a patient uh, improve and go home without any overnight stay. I had a local anaesthetic. I never felt a thing. Water flow was instantly better. And I went home at about four o'clock. I was out of hospital within two hours and, uh, and I went home with a smile on my face. During the next week, there was a little bit of discomfort. Slight amount of blood. And by the third week, at the end of that week, there was no discomfort whatsoever. Yeah, I was, obviously as a man, you were always concerned about your love life, how it would affect you afterwards, and I'm really pleased with it since I've had the operation. My wife and daughter say I'm a different person. All my friends at the rugby club have, have always thought that it was a major operation and, uh, and when I tell them I was only in a couple of hours, they're, highly, they're amazed and highly delighted. I would highly recommend it to anybody to have. You've got one delighted customer here as the National Health Service, I'll tell you that. <laughs>